and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys today. I'm going to be going over the Week 16 and Week 17 Team of the Week reveal. Now, I was just watching the Madden stream. Excuse me. And they went over... At the end of the stream, the players, the LTDs, the heroes for week 16 and week 17 now, you guys might be wondering, right? Well, we're definitely past week 17, we're in the playoffs, why are we getting them now? So during the month of December with all the Christmas content, they did currently suspend the team of the week 16 and 17, so we are getting an updated. The intro boys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below. Can we get 250 likes on this 1030 content video? It's usually rare that we can, but that'd be awesome. Can no Comment down below, Noti Gang, if you're here first, and like the video. If you guys can do all those things, that'd be awesome. Let's see if we get 250 likes in this 1030 video, and let's see if we can hit 17k by tomorrow. Here go the video. An updated launch of cards. Now, I don't know if the overalls will be updated like to today's standards. That would be pretty cool. Or if they're going to continue where they left off like 93s. I prefer they go to like 94, 95, so they'll be useful cards. But they give us some pretty big names that is really, really exciting. Some guys, we had a pretty good idea would get them. But we're getting two LTDs and four heroes because we are getting two weeks worth now these will be launching i believe tomorrow at about 2 p.m on tuesday so definitely stay tuned for all that we have plenty of stuff to go over here now guys as you're wondering these solos will be coming out for these which i'll go over in a second now team of the week so will be right here so we are up to team of the week's 15 we will now have 16 and 17 so we're gonna have a double week of content now remember as far as solos go make sure you get these solos done because these will be the final two tokens to earn to get your free team of the year player once team of the year drops probably like next week uh where's team of the week i don't even see the solos all right they're they're currently gone for some reason but they will probably come back so make sure you get those done so, oh yeah they're probably they're gonna come back when the new ones drop so make sure you get those done so that you can get your last two tokens if you do not get these done you will probably not be able to get your free team of the year player so make sure you're doing that i did just get my twitch drop pack let's go pull bo jacks out of this real quick hold up twitch drop pack gold Dwayne haskins that was horrible all right so as far as the players go let's go see what the overalls were on the last one so we have a pretty good idea for what these new overalls are going to be i'm pretty excited for these heroes guys like frankly I i'm gonna probably go over the projected stats too here for you guys as soon as we get into it let's see where they left off let's go to program team of the week i believe 92 93 is where we left off let's go by overall okay 93s i think is where we left off right okay so for week 16 week 16 is where we're gonna start the ltd for week 16 is mark andrews mark andrews is the tight end for the baltimore ravens i believe his last card was pretty good it was the blitz card i believe right so his current card is going to be he has good stats great great speed decent catching decent uh route running his next card will probably be like a 94 overall so he'll probably end up getting about like 88 speed with Probably 90 catching, 88 catching trap. Chemmed up and powered up. He's going to be one of the fastest tight ends in Madden. He's going to have decent run blocking, decent route running. Overall, going to be a pretty good card. Now, Mark Andrews isn't really what I'm too excited for, but your Baltimore Ravens team teams, you guys got to be ecstatic. You guys are getting cards left and right. Now, this one I'm excited for. The Week 16 offensive hero is the greatest running back in the history of the NFL, Saquon Barkley. That is super, super hype right there. We're getting a Saquon Barkley upgrade about time. So then this new Saquon Barkley card, I'd have to imagine, his last card had an 89 speed. I think this card had like a 93 speed. Should he be faster? Yes, but they won't make him faster. Probably gonna have a 93 speed with like a 96 break tackle, a 90 elusiveness, probably an, like a 79 catching, probably almost an 80 catching with probably 95 carrying and 95 agility and like 90, probably 93 speed, 94 excel. Gonna be really fast, gonna be really quick. The only thing is I don't think he'll compare he won't stack up to Bo Jackson, so he's not going to be too usable, but he's still going to be a great card to have. I will probably get him as like a backup card. He's, gonna, he's not going to cost too much. He's a Saquon Barkley, so he's going to have a decent price tag with him, but he's not going to be crazy expensive. His catching should be really good, as well as his stiff arm spin and juke's going to be really high. He's going to be one of the most well-rounded running backs in Madden up to date. Now, for the defensive hero, we're getting a guy that a lot of people have been asking for. He's had a, quite a few weeks, been a part of one of the better defenses this year. That is Fred Warner, right side linebacker for... 49ers so this this linebacker here had good speed good excel great athleticism can't pass rush too well and can't block shed that well but overall as a whole this card is going to have great athleticism his next card will probably have decent block shedding no pass rush moves he, he better have a zone right because this card looks pretty ass on paper he better have like some kind of zone 
to make up for it. 77 zone. So his next turn will probably have an 80 zone with great athleticism. He's going to be a pretty good budgety type zone linebacker. Now remember, this next one's going to be probably like a 93 overall. So this card actually might be pretty decent. His blocks are not actually getting to the mid-high 80s as well as his finesse. So, I mean, I'm not too excited for this new Fred Warner card. For all you 49ers fans, it's probably going to be pretty cool. They also did announce a, as a, it's like the pieces for it. It's going to be a Philip Lindsay and a Mike Jacecki, the tight end for the uh, Miami Dolphins. So, those probably will be like 90 overalls, 89 overalls, maybe 87, depending on which ones are which. They didn't announce all the set pieces, but they didn't announce some of them. Now, to get into the Week 17 reveal. The LTD for Week 17 is actually someone I was not expecting. They have a great week, but I didn't expect them to get it. Michael Gallup for the... Dallas Cowboys now just talking to Zurich. He's super excited about this I can't imagine many people actually probably using this but Michael Gallup is pretty speedy in real life He's pretty athletic. He's young. It's hard to base the stats off this card But he's gonna have like a 94 over LTD. So he's probably gonna end up with like a 93 speed 92 speed Probably high 80 catching high. He's, he's a pretty good route runner He's probably gonna have about like 90 route running probably low 90 catching with like a 93 speed. He's gonna be one of the better receivers in Madden He's gonna be an LTD though with no power up chain so he's not going to be the most valuable LTD card. Still going to be able to use abilities because he's going to be an LTD team of the week, which usually get all their abilities. But still going to be a little bit limited in that sense. Not the most exciting LTD drop, but definitely one of the bigger ones. Next, we got a guy who I anticipated this guy would get one. He went off in week 17. Sadly, I was playing him in the playoffs, so that, that wasn't fun. But Joe Mixon for the... Oh my god, Cincinnati Bengals. I forget. They're so irrelevant. I forget how to say their names sometimes. His highest overall card is an 87 team of the week. Joe Mixon is super shifty, super quick, can catch very right well, although they didn't really give it to him in here. His next card will probably be about what? Like a 90, 94 overall, 93 overall. Gonna probably have like a 91 speed, 92 speed. And which really sucks. A lot of these, a lot of these modern day running backs really can't use. The legend card just overpower him. Gonna probably have like a 91, 92 speed. Probably gonna get somewhere in the range of like a 75 catching, 91 carrying, 90 agility. Probably like a 88 break tackle. He's going to have all high. I'd imagine low 90s, high 80s. He's not going to be. I already know they're not going to make Mixon that overpowered. Going to probably have a really good juke. His carrying should. I mean, his catching should definitely be a lot better. Although I don't think they're going to make that big an upgrade. His juke and spin should probably get closer to the 90 range. He's going to be well-rounded. That's what Mixon is. Well-rounded. Not going to be super crazy at anything. And the final one is a guy that people typically do love in Madden. Although he hasn't gotten many cards this year. And that is Deion Jones. Deion Jones is a 90 over middle linebacker. Definitely due for an upgrade. His next linebacker card is going to have a 90 speed more than likely. And he can be powered up. So powered up and carried up, he could probably get some 90 speed. Probably going to get close to a 90 zone coverage, guys. His next card should probably get like an 87 zone. So you put on lockdown and powered him up. He'll probably get to a 90 zone. So he'll probably be one of the best used linebackers in the game. Although I wouldn't use him. I'd probably have him as my second linebacker. Because with 90 zone, with 90 speed, with 90 excel... He's going to be great in the zone by himself. Going to be kind of like having an extra secondary out there. So Deion Jones is going to be great in a zone scheme where you have the linebackers like roaming the field freely. Deion Jones is looking pretty, pretty solid as a whole. And as far as catching goes, he's going to have pretty good catching. About probably 70 when he's powered up and camped on his new card. Probably going to be a 93 over. That's the defensive hero. So it's a recap. We got Mark Andrews as the LTD and Michael Gallup as the LTD. We got Saquon and we got Mixon as the offensive heroes. We got Fred Warner and Deion Jones as defensive heroes. And we got Lindsey and Jacecki as some of the lower set pieces. Now, these will be dropping tomorrow at about 2 p.m. And tomorrow morning, we'll probably have the 10.30 card reveal. Right now, we just have the name reveal. Or maybe tonight, they'll give us a card reveal. Because they did a say sometime later, they'll probably get it out to us. But for now, this is just the name reveal. I gave you guys my estimated stats are typically pretty accurate when I do these. Because you already, Madden works in a similar way. They upgrade certain stats. They don't touch certain stats. They're very, they're very consistent with the way they do things. They're very uh, transparent when it comes to that stuff. But I hope you guys did enjoy this is pretty interesting. Saquon Barkley is finally getting a card since Mutt Hero, since like September. Saquon Barkley has been due for a card for the longest time. Too bad. I, re I hope they don't botch these stats. Like, I really hope the way they do this Team of the Week drop is that they make it so they can have the cards at their current overalls. Because if they're, if they're following from behind, LT, uh, Team of the Week's are at 93. So if they're following that trend, they'll still be like at 93, 94. I'm hoping they, they skip the whole month and realize that we're at 95s and they make the LTDs like 95, 96s. If they make the LTD, no. I hope they make the LTDs 95s and the Heroes 94s. That'd be perfect. That'd be that'd be fair. Don't make the LTDs 94s and the Heroes 93s. Because the Saquon 93 is not going to be usable when we have Bo Jackson already. It just won't be. Amon Green, all those other guys. Barry, Walter Payton. Make the LTDs 95s or 96s and then make the Heroes 94s 90, or 95s. That, that'd be more than fair. I hope that's the route that I'm taking, guys. But this is for the video. If you're into the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the Naughty Bell Boys. Come join the family. Can we get to 17K by tomorrow? Comment down below if you have any questions regarding these uh, Team of the Week drops. And Nodi Gang, if you're still here to this point, comment down below, Nodi Gang. Like the video. Can we get 250 likes on the 1030 video? 
It's usually rare, but can we do it? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.